You know it's a Thursday when you're like, that dog just jumped real far. I gotta put that on for tomorrow. <laughs> That's every Thursday That's for every me. Day. Every Thursday, it's like, man, that dog jumped so far. Man, dude. that dog is How so far. How should I hide like this? I forgot to put the rag away. Man, and thank you for watching no. this show. Now someone's gonna trip over that rag, and they're gonna fall. They're gonna crack their head open. It's and not gonna a... be cool. And they're like, well, we're not gonna sue you. But then they're still like, they forgot the number four for the rest of their life. It's not a puddle of oil. <laughs> 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 oh Christ, yeah. Andy, what's what's going on with you, man? Dude, you I don't know. Show I'm, not, I'm not feeling good right now, Nick. I'll be I honest with you, dude. Am, I, I yesterday I, killed me. I feel like for the past week, was the I've end. been slowly fighting off an oncoming sickness. Well, Greg is sick, and Greg walked in on Monday and was like, "I'm real sick," and we were like, "Cool." Okay. And he's like, "But don't worry, I don't care about all of you. So if you guys get sick, don't worry, well, I'll be he fine." Said, he said I'd be on top. He'd be on top of me. He has. He'll be on top of you? On top of it. Like taking care on of top of you or it? Killing his germs. Has he ever been on top of you, Kevin? It's okay. We're in the circle of trust right now. Oh, hey, what's up, Greg? Watch out for that. That is like a banana peel. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I just want to say. Yeah. I was Because Andy's sick now. I, I just want you to know that. Yes, because you're all bitches. I'm a little, all right? I'm you're little, all little cowardly cowards. You look great in this shirt. Can thanks, I just say that? Before we go you. into any more bits of me not liking you, this is I want to let you know from my the bottom of my heart, shirt. you look fucking awesome. I'm trying to Nathan Drake it. It's working. How would Dee feel if you wore your wedding ring around your neck on a string? She wouldn't honestly care. I don't think she pays attention to like 90% yeah. of the things I do. You should I, get I just... sent her business, like where she works, I sent her yeah. one of those posters and pictures, and she just sent me the picture of it hanging on the wall. She's like, hey, damn you. You should, <laughs> you should just wear a big old ring. Like, imagine a ring, but really, really big, and just wear it like hey, as a choker. Hey. <laughs> Like just wear it as you a choker. You should wear a big old ring. Imagine a ring really, really big. You know what I mean? Like, can you imagine a choker? You know what? I thought Andy was. I'll be honest with you. Up until that moment, I was like, Andy's clearly the A team. But you know what, Greg? You're the A team. Tomorrow the A team's back. This Friday is C morning. squad here. C -Squad. I don't know what's happening you know what I mean? here, but this is C squad. If I've ever seen it. Anyways, I didn't get Andy sick. I didn't get anybody sick. Right? Yeah. I was okay. Sick I came in. This morning too. You were what? It's going around. Everyone's sick. It's that time of year. But yeah, no one was sick. Around. Some people come to work when they're sick. Yeah, yeah I'm the only one it. here who's the linchpin. He can't Arbel miss a day. is here. Jesus, dude. <laughs> I hate everybody. When did he become the CEO of Kind of Funny? <laughs> Arvel? <laughs> what a great reference that <laughs> only like, the hardest of that. hardcore <laughs> best friends get from when I was mad I at him. Don't understand at that. I hate Arvel's, Arvel's I hate a, he's a big Kind of Funny fan. Yeah, I remember. He went. I see him in the thing all the time. He went to the meetup with the flu. Remember. He went to the meetup in London. We talked about it where he was like... No, see, again, Andy, I wasn't in London. And so when you guys... Here's the, here's the thing everyone needs to understand. Joey and Kevin will back me up on this. When you guys are gone, it. we don't pay attention to you. We don't care. Well, we, we care talked about this on the show two times. Joey. Um, so apparently you don't listen whatsoever. I see what you're doing there. And I respect it. And I want you to sit here and hang out with us. But before you do that, is there... Do you no. want? Do, are we thinking Diet Coke or a sugar-free Red Bull right now? I'm going. I'm, I have my Monster here, dude. I would like it's, maybe a sugar-free Red yeah, Bull. Yeah, if Andy's gonna have Monster, then I feel like you need to kind of get on his level and have. This a is my fourth Red coffee Bowl. today, so I'm pretty sure I'm well, on a different not. level. Maybe I'll just get you some. Clearly, someone in the in the in the, uh, the YouTube uh, chat, by the way, mm -hmm. or the YouTube comments that's tracking my milligrams of caffeine every day, and it's it's haunting. Well, and they're only seeing like half of it. Oh yeah, I told him I was like, third. "You gotta add the other four cokes I had today." Okay. Nick, clearly, I'm in another fucking stratosphere. Okay, so you can you stay down just, here. You're up against the wall. You can right stay now. down here with the peasants, or you can get on this level of energy and just right explode. Listen, you can mess with the best, or you can die like the rest. Mm -hmm. That's what the saying is. Who uh, says that? Who says that? Uh, I think Sylvester Stallone, 1989. Said oh, yeah. That. yeah. You know, what movie series I've been watching lately. Probably one you've never seen before, but I'm gonna recommend it for you anyway. It's a movie series called Fletch. You ever seen it? Uh, it, it reminds me of this old guy I used to work with named Fletch. Okay. So I, I, I just always put them two, two and two together. Tom Probably Hanks or Chevy Chase? Chevy Chase. Yeah. Uh, based on a book series, which I didn't realize until I was reading the IMDb trivia about it. So I started, I watched the, it's one of my favorite movies. Probably top five favorite comedies of all time. It's one of those very much. Um, not a zany comedy. It's very much in line with like Ghostbusters, where it's kind of played straight, but it's just more sarcasm mm -hmm. that's deeply embedded in there. Uh, Joey, have you seen the movie Fletch? No. I'm yeah. recommending this for everyone right now. Fletch one and Fletch, Fletch and then Fletch Lives are the two movies that he made. There it is. I probably won't it's watch cannibal. it. Um, you like these movies? What's that? Do you like Fletch? Oh, there. It's Fletch is top five of my favorite comedies of all time. Really? Yeah. 
I, like as far as I bet you you could name like ten better ones right now. I see. Here's the thing. Everyone's always like, "Oh, Caddyshack, clearly top, like one of the up there." Fletch to me is above that because it's a better movie. It actually has a plot. I am, and the character is so well fleshed out. He's very unique. I'm just always guilty of being like, "Oh yeah, that game is in my top ten games of all time." And then I think about like thirty other games that I think are better than it, and like I, I say, every game is in my top ten. I'm just guilty of that. I feel like. Fletch is one is is up there for me though. We should do that. We should make our top lists of comedies and actions and sci-fi's and all that stuff. Maybe that should be an ongoing series or GOG topic one of these days. Can we days. also make them fight against each other in a bracket type setting? No, I mean we can, but that didn't work out. So we lost a lot of friends because of that. A lot of yeah, friends. Yeah, that's why we're making inanimate things fight each other now. We got rid of the uh, of the loser friends and we made way cooler friends. Well, we did make Elise is now our friend for life. Mm-hmm. Didn't she win? She won. Yeah. Uh, she did win. So that's great. Dejardo came out swinging, and like, I'm proud of him. Yeah, yeah. Dejardo now came send us some pepperoni pizza for fuck's sake. Yeah, for Jesus no. Christ. Or yeah. the buffalo chicken ones with the. I mean, I'll wear the crust. shirt, but sh- shit. I mean, send I haven't. Any pizza? Just send any pizza that isn't the, the pizza chicken Pizza in one. general. Yeah, just any pizza, any pizza, and I'll wear the fucking shirt. I'll do whatever with the shirt. Whatever. Whatever. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching the Kind of Funny, or you're listening to the Kind of Funny Morning Show. We do this Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. here on Twitch.tv slash Kind of Funny Games. Then, afterward, we break it apart into its various components, just like that scene in Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory where they beam the kid over, but he comes out a little bit too short, and everyone laughs at him for life. Mike TV! That's right, Mike TV. Oh my god, he's in the air! And someone grabbed like his liver and ate it. Remember that? No. That was in my brain. I would have done that. You thought that? I wanted to grab just a part of him, like, now I have a part of you if you want it back. Give me $10 million, Mike TV. You stupid little That kid didn't have that kid. much money. They were all rich. You should have done him. that to Ruka Salt. She's the one who came from money, dude. Ruka is, yeah. She's a, just a garbage She's the garbage, one who wanted all the squirrels or whatever, bag. right? What? Huh? She wanted the squirrels. She wanted whatever. the golden goose. The golden, the golden goose, yeah. I want a golden goose now, daddy. And he's like, all right, Walker, how much for the golden goose? And in that movie, uh, Gene Wilder straight fucking mercs people. He's like, hey, man. Your daughter's a piece of shit. Veruca Salt ran Enron. Did you know that? She's the one who got really caught up in all that, uh, in those lawsuits. Veruca Salt, the character or the actress that played Veruca Salt? Just all of it. Cool. Yeah. Is she going to be featured in Vice? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. She's, she, a, nice. she's, a, she's a war that's criminal. What a lot of people don't understand. Veruca Salt's a war criminal. She was the one that came up with the term weapons of mass yeah. destruction. Mm-hmm. That WMDs. Was that was her. WMDs. Mm-hmm. Not Augustus Gloop, who they're still trying to get out of that fucking tube. You think what he's still stuck in there? About? You think he's still stuck in there? No, I think he died a long time ago. Huh? The, pe- the pressure built up. But where did he? That's what they want you to think. What the fuck was that? I'm oh, man fixing shit. <laughs> Kevin's fixing stuff over. Anyway, there. if you're watching this uh, on YouTube, please leave a comment Why? in the comments below and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to the channel. Someone, someone the other day was like, "Listen, I listen to this podcast because I read all the comments." By the way, mm-hmm. don't think I don't see your fucking comments there, everyone. Um, and someone was like, "Hey, I just want you to know." That when you guys watch trailers, it's not very fun for people to listen to on an audio. Mm-hmm. And to which I replied, but that's why you have to come watch the whole episode again from start to finish mm-hmm. on YouTube. So you get the full effect. But you also have to open it up on 14 different browsers yeah. in 14 different locations. What I need you to do is go to your Mac store right now, your local Mac store, and open it up on every iDevice mm-hmm. And MacBook Pro, just open it up and hit play at the same time. So my face and Andy's face and Joey's disembodied voice is just haunting everyone trying to get that iPhone 10 Max. And then put the lo- put the volume up right here. Ready, ready, ready. Would you like to buy the two or four year Geek Squad protection? Uh, what it comes with is accidental damage, normal wear and tear, uh, protection from surges, surge protection. Um, Don't get the Apple Care. Don't get the Apple Care. Run. But if you're at Best Buy, get the Geek Swap protection. No, no, no. But if they're at Apple, they're always like, would you like the Apple Care? What does that mean? Well, you spend 400 extra dollars for no reason. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. It really, I mean, dude, Best Buy's thing has like saved me so many times. Now, granted, I was buying stuff at an insane discount already. You're a bad motherfucker, that's why. Um, but the Geek Squad protection was like, you know, let's say you buy a $1,000 TV, it costs like 200 bucks to protect sure. it. For employees, it was like 40 bucks. It was the best. Dude. Oh, no. I always bought warranties on big ticket items. Yeah. But I'm always conflicted because I bought Apple Care on every single phone I've ever owned. And I give them the phone back when I sell it back to Apple. And it looks better than the day I bought it. These guys are like, wow, the Apple Care really was useless <laughs> for you, wasn't it? You spent, I probably spent $1,000 on Apple Care on all my iDevices throughout the course of like when I bought the first, my first iPhone 4. Because you know it's like 200 bucks every time. Yeah. 
And like, oh, it protects like one accidental screen crack or whatever. If you piss on it and it blows up, we'll give you another one. $100 deductible. You can't piss on it? You can't piss on it. You can't piss on it. Important safety on tip. I was just talking to... Guess I got to figure out something else to do with my afternoon. Um, what was I going to say? Better than need it and not have it than have it and not need it. It's like a condom or a gun. What? I've been watching the Predator series again, too. Going back through all the aliens and predators. <laughs> Man, you've been watching a lot of movies. And there's a part in it where she's like, you don't need a gun in the Arctic. And she's like, it's like a condom. I'd rather have one and not need it than need it and not have one. And then they look at each other and like, cool, we're going to be friends for the and rest of this bug. movie. No. Uh, and then one of them dies like immediately. Ah, oh, shit. All of the, here's the thing. If you're writing a Predator or Alien movie, here's what I need you to do. I need you to go back and watch the first Alien and then Aliens. And then I want you to see that we spend some time with these characters and get to know them. So that when they eventually die a horrific fucking death, we feel for them. Unlike the rest of the Aliens movies, and, uh, well actually that's not true, Alien, Res- Alien Resurrection, we spend some time with them. But Alien versus Predator, they throw a bunch of people at us, and then they all just die, we don't care. Then Prometheus, they throw a bunch of people at us, we don't even know their names, we don't even introduce these characters. Who are these some pilots? Them, there's two people in Prometheus that die that I'm like, who the fuck are they? Yeah. I've never seen these people. Yeah. The people they are not ship. in any other scenes. People on the ship with fucking, uh, with what's his face? Uh, I watched Alien vs. Predator, and when the Predators start killing people in the Arctic, it's almost like a, a, an afterthought. They're like, we gotta show some people die. So they show it in like the most simple way possible. Is that me or you? Me? Did no, it's like, why did it fucking... It's carbonated, baby. What? Okay, sorry. That's the party telling you to get your get up. I'm trying to wake bed. up, man! Get out of bed. You're that guy that's like, I'm so drunk, I gotta go to bed right now. And Joey's like, no, it's 11. We have a whole fucking bucket of wine to drink tonight. <laughs> it's 4 in the morning. Let's finish bucket. this up, you know? Let's go, let's go. Have you ever done the overnight thing where you try to get alcohol in the morning? I've done it once. Wait, when you're so drunk and you just keep going? You want to keep the party going? What time do they start selling alcohol in the morning? Uh, I think, well, like so eight? the problem we ran into was like, uh, Texas doesn't sell alcohol on Sundays. Or no, in liquor. Some, in some towns. Yeah, so, yeah. something like that. I'm pretty sure in Austin you can get alcohol no matter what. on Sunday. Brunch on Sundays, they're, they're selling you booze like crazy. Oh, you're right, you're right. You're definitely right about but that. But I used to there are places in Utah where it's dry, which is crazy. Like I, mm-hmm. I, uh, I went to uh, Park City and I partied there. I think it was Park City. Yeah. And we went to a bar and they were like, you have to be a member of the bar to go to this what? place. Yeah, you had to like pay a membership. There was some, there were also some weird regulations in different counties like across, Pokemon spread across the United States where you're like, am I going to get arrested and put in jail for a bottle of Jack Daniels? Because that makes it more fun. It makes you want to do it more, right? Yeah. When you're told no, you kind of just want to keep farting around. You do. Yeah. When people say you can't have the heroin, I say I want all the heroin. No. No? No. No. Far. All right. A little too far. Uh, we're going to go into the news in a little bit. Before we do that, I want to take a second and tell you this episode of the Kind of Funny Morning Show is brought to you by not one, not two, but three sponsors. Gabby, Robinhood, and Quip uh, are happening. We're going to be giving away some games later today. Don't worry. If you're in the chat right now watching this live, you're already entered to win the giveaway. If you're a subscriber, thank you very much for being an awesome human being. Uh, if you want to be a subscriber but you don't have $5, that's cool, SA. I got, I got bills to pay, too. I got kids. I got kids to feed. I got four wives. I'm Whoa. in a polyamorous relationship with three other people. I got 18 children. I'm like that. You just had four kids. What? No, wait. Well, if you have Amazon Prime, you get one free Twitch Prime subscription, so you can give that to us. It's free. All it takes is a few seconds of your time. Last year, last month, I gave mine to Fiona, and then before that, it was Sancho West, and Sancho West thanked me one time, and that was cool. And now I subscribe to his channel. I keep getting updates, and he plays a lot of reruns, which I didn't even know you could do. Yeah, yeah, you can play. Re- so he played a lot of reruns when he was on vacation. So you could just sort of play clips here and there. How come we don't rerun this show all day, every day? That's a That's good question. That's my question. That's a great question, Nick. I don't fault you for asking that. Joey, what is the probability of the second Games Daily ends of just rerunning the morning show on this? You know what? Never mind. Don't do that. You know why? Go over to YouTube and watch this morning show. That's where you watch it. And you put, here's what you do. You put loop. <laughs> You hit the little button that says loop, and then it just starts it over, and the fun can start all over again until the next day when we do it again. And you marathon that. You marathon that. That's what we should do for Extra Life. Just rerun morning shows. Oh, just the hot take, like all the amazing moments of the morning shows. But just, we could do our best to pretend that it's live. Yeah. So for the next, like, two weeks, how many We have to make evergreen content. 24 hours of of morning shows, so about 24 24 shows. shows. Yeah. Maybe, give or take, 12 morning shows, depending on how long we go. Sure. Um, and then the whole time, we could just pretend that we're reacting to chat. 
Yeah. Even though there's not. You <laughs> That's know an I mean? awesome thing you said, Zyger. Yeah. Oh, funny, dude. You know? Good we, job, Ant-Man 0204. <laughs> just reading back different three? names. Yeah, we could definitely do that, dude. It's I wonder if we went back and forth, you'd probably beat me in this, but I wonder if we went back and forth and tried to name one person from the chat. One one handle. Oh, I have such a bad memory I though. Yeah, me too. Zyger? I already lost. Fuck. Amy well, Gillis. I said Ant Man. You can't just say Zyger. It's gotta be the Yeah, I already said Zyger. I already said Zyger. I already said Zyger. Like in 1337. Now, I don't, you know, we're yeah. not gonna do this because then people go, oh, you don't remember it with the channel. Omega Batman. Lexi Omega Gunner. Batman. Omega Batman. No, you can't say Lexi Gunner. Lexi Gunner's like top tier. Here. Yeah. Why are we ranking people yeah. in chat now? <laughs> All right, you're right. Well, I told you I'd to do that, and then I leaned directly into the opposite side of the joke that I was going I into. I was like, please don't insult anyone, and then I just insulted everyone. I apologize. We love you all exactly the same. You're like all of our children, except there are some of you are our favorites, mm -hmm. and some of you just. Some of you, I'd, I wouldn't. I, uh, I wouldn't. Nope, let's just back out of that joke. Okay. I was gonna say, PN you to put you out. Yeah, if you want fire. But I didn't. I don't the fire part, <laughs> so I don't know what I'm putting out. You know, you're putting out that hotness. Mm -hmm. God damn it! Okay. What is it? It's that Red Bull dog. You know? Oh, I thought you mixed it up with something. There's some coffee in there too. There's coffee and Red Bull in there. There might be. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to give us a tip at the five dollar above level, we will take those. And just to remind you that we do have tips. Play. Nah, okay, don't worry about it. First tip comes up from Flashy Andy. Says, guys. It's my birthday today. Thanks for everything, uh, and uh, and you even gave me Andy on the KF Morning Show as a gift. There you go, Flashy. Happy Andy. birthday, Flashy Andy. I always thought Flashy Andy was Thomas slash Greedy Ears. I always thought they're the same person. I don't know why. Do the words Flashy Andy and Greedy Ears sound alike? No, not even close. There was for the longest time I thought Trevor Starkey was like eighteen different people, and it turns out there's just eighteen different people that have that moniker. What's no. up, Kevin? At what point did you find out that they weren't the same person? Because haven't we played uh, games with Greedy? We played games with Greedy. Yeah, yeah. Games. No, this is this is awesome before music. that. Okay. This is before that. But I would just like I'd get them mixed up and it made no sense. I'd see Greedy ears and be like, "Hey, what's up, Andy?" And I was like, "Well, how's life in?" Uh, I'd see Flash Andy and ask him about how it is living in like the UK. No, nope, he's like in Minneapolis or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. That's a great story, though. Yeah. And I think I, I think I speak for all of us when I say that was riveting. You fell asleep. Riveting. <laughs> you fell asleep. <laughs> Poor Joey. I, I was Why, just... Joey? Why? There's other jobs. You don't have to do this to yourself every day. Neither What's do I. I <laughs> tip uh, thing. I was just waiting around to make sure that like the changes I made work. I'm trying to leave. You got it. Hey everyone, just as a quick reminder, here's the tip thing. Give me your fucking money. I, I heard it a little bit. I heard oh, it a little bit. You know what? It is working. It's just quiet as shit. Saving the day. Save. Is the news now? Or did we do tips? Uh, no, we still have tips to go. Okay. Uh, remember, of course, if you want to give us 500 cheers, we'll take that too. It's the Hitch gave us 500 cheers and said, Andy, get everyone to watch My Hero Academia. It's so good. And then he gave us little cheers, 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 cheers. And then Jerry, Jerry Coe gave us five bucks. Says, hey guys, fun video. I know it's not short. Give it a chance, Kevin. It starts... No. I'm going to stop you right there. It's not short, and it starts at two minutes in, and if, I, if it doesn't grab you in the next 15 seconds, uh, time me the fuck out for the day. I'm so going to buy this for Halloween. It sounds like a challenge. Uh, no, because here's the thing. We have rules, okay? Fun clips no longer than 30 seconds, I would say. And don't tell me start in the video. It's a fun clip. Which means if it's a longer video, your job is to clip it out, the part that's funny, put it up on the internet, pretend like you made it, send it to me, and I'll give you all the credit. That's how it's going to work. If you give me a video that's 15 minutes long and goes, there's 10 seconds in here, then I have to, my, here's my thing, my anxiety starts building. Well, I'm yeah. like, I got to watch the whole fucking thing. I got to see yeah. where this goes and how it stops. Yeah. And then I go, okay. am I missing out? Am I missing out? Yeah. What's the setup? Mm -hmm. What's my motivation? Why should I care about this dog that's going to jump longer than any dog's ever jumped? Oh, you saw that wait. video earlier? Fuck yeah, it's on Internet of the Week. It's <laughs> Internet of the Week tomorrow. Can't it's wait hilarious. to watch that. So I'm sorry, uh, Jerry Coe. Thank you for your tip. And thank you for being an awesome human being. But you fundamentally failed me on all levels. Jesus Christ. It's cutting deep. The thing is this. I want this show to be the best show on the Internet. It never okay? will be, though. I know. Uh, let's go to the news. <laughs> the news. <laughs> It's just silence. Just dead silence. <laughs> yeah, before no we art. heard like a little bit of the news graphic, and now it's nothing. Yeah, what, wait, what did... He just 
just did the opposite of what he tried. Yeah, <laughs> I know. This is my life. This is why this is this is my life. But you know what? It doesn't matter because we've got some great news stories today. Uh, let's go into this one, cool, Greg. Bring this one up. We go in order. Uh, sure. Thank you. Wait, what's in order? Sorry, we have to do the thing. We got we got to we have to figure out either one of two situations. One. We have to figure out how, I know Kevin's working on it, the computer can play trailers better so we don't have to switch the input. Or two, we need to hire a human being, pay them an exorbitant salary, and have them just switch inputs on TVs for me. So I'll leave that to you as to which one you think is going to be the option. Like 80K a year? I have a, I have a suggestion. Yeah. What if we just move the remote stand over here and then I can do it and then you just give me a raise? Well, the or thing you is, pay me two salaries. Here's okay. the alternative. We each have one controller that looks like this. We pretend like they're phasers from Star Trek. <laughs> and they do kind of look like them, right? And Oh, you make really good laser sounds. I'm oh, like, wow. Uh, yeah, that sounds really neat. I'm pretty awesome, guys. Uh, top of the news today, of course, is another trailer for Glass. I am fucking hyped for this movie. I haven't watched this trailer yet. Do you know what I'm talking about? Wait, no, we saw this trailer. The second one? Didn't we see a trailer at uh, before? What movie did we just see? Venom. Didn't they, I could have sworn we saw No, that was the first trailer, I think. This is the second one. I'm pretty sure this came okay. out today, but let me let, hold on. Wait, cool, Greg, hold on before you play it, because maybe I'm an asshole. Because I felt like the one we saw in the theaters was one that we had not no, seen before. No, this was published today, October 11th, 2018. Okay. The one in the theaters, I believe, was the original trailer that we've watched before. Okay. In fact, I'm I had never 100% seen positive. Interesting. Well, you're a monster. You need to get out more. Stop cool. playing Fortnite, or when you do play Fortnite, I want you to give fucking your boy Cheeto fingers a ring, okay? You you haven't been on that in a while, man. Nick and Greg always you know why? give because a shit for not inviting them, but they never play. Uh, yeah, that's our lot in life. <laughs> See, the thing is, it's funny. You just give people shit, and then and when they invite you, you go, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm watching. Yeah. Fletch, I'm watching Fletch Lives. I'm watching all I'm watching the Alien and Predator movies. Yeah. yeah. I like to go through. Those. I don't like games that much. All right. This is the uh, for those of you listening right now, or like Ew, they're watching a trailer again. I'm listening to this. I apologize, but it's you know. That's what happens. Glass, official trailer number two, if you guys want to keep up, let's watch it. And let's hope there's some sound. Go. Elijah has changed over the years. He's given up. We keep him heavily sedated. But there is a reason for that. He's too smart for them. You won't be lonely anymore. You have two new friends. The three of you think you have extraordinary gifts, like something out of a comic book. I've developed an effective treatment for this disorder. <coughs> the light will force a different identity to take over. Por favor, senora. I want my headphones back. Step away from the controls now, little doctor. Get me to be! So you're not gonna shake my hand and let me walk out of here. <laughs> Good for you. What do you want? I am here to see if tales of the extraordinary being are true. May I meet the beast? I'm Mary Reynolds. I need your abilities to go oh. out of here and show the world we exist. That sounds like the bad guys teaming up. Do you believe you are an avenging angel, partner? I believe. Avenge us. Oh my I god. Get out of here before Wait, he I missed it. What happened? They are contained. He just threw somebody at the wall really aggressively. They always underestimate the mastermind. It has begun, David. I found someone who will require your full potential. You shouldn't be hiding in the shadows. You might want to try and stop us. A lot of people are going to die. Now, who'd like a PB and J sandwich? We are not meant to have this much power. Finally. All of us together for the world to see what we are capable of. You need to get out of here. What have you done, Elijah? 
Hype levels? What are the hype what's levels? The scale? What's the scale? Uh, 1 to 44. 44. I'm 44, like really? 44 Whoa, this, yeah. holy My shit. only disappointment with this trailer is they're showing too much of the movie. Now I know kind of what the plot... Like, before I was like, what brought them all in there? Yeah. What's going on? Like, I knew she had some treatment thing, but like now I know, okay, it's going to be another... The fascinating part of Unbreakable... Did you ever see Unbreakable? No. So the fascinating part about Unbreakable was obviously it... it uh, spoilers for anyone who hasn't watched it yet. Samuel L. Jackson's a bad guy. You don't know that, though. So... He he. He always seemed like a Yoda type to me. Well, Bruce based Will- on what I'd seen, I'd seen a bunch of scenes before. He's sort of mentoring Bruce Willis because he. The theory is because he <clears throat> is uh, basically so fragile. They call him Mister Glass mm-hmm. because he every time like his bones are very brittle, but he's super smart. The thought was if he's on that side of the spectrum, then on the other side there's got to be someone who's unbreakable. But a fucking idiot. And so he's been looking. <laughs> he's been looking. Yeah, just dumb as shit. <laughs> just like. <laughs> <laughs> like you're trying to feed him, he's like trying to put it in his eyeball. Um, so the idea being, of course, that Samuel L. Jackson's character is looking for the other side because he thinks that person's going to be a hero that has his potential that's untapped, and he's looking through all of these um, natural disasters to see if there's any human being that couldn't possibly have survived them that did. And of course, at the beginning of the movie, he's on a train, and the train uh, Rex, crashes. The Everyone dies but him, and it's yeah. freaky as shit. Because and the doctor has this great line where he's like. Why is everyone, like, he looks over and everyone in the hospital is looking at him. He's like, why is everyone looking at me so weird? And he's like, they're looking at you for two reasons. One, uh, because out of the 240 people on that train, you're the only survivor. And two, you don't have a scratch on you. Like, you're just perfect. And he's like, shit, that's weird. And then Samuel L. Jackson finds him and says, you're the one. Then it turns out in in an M. Night Shyamalan twist, for all twists, he's been causing all the natural natural disasters looking for this guy. Interesting. Because he wanted to find... The hero to his super villain, and that's what's continuing this. That's why you see this. Like it's that's why I'm a little disappointed with this trailer because I love that they're continuing it, but I didn't want to know that. You want until, more mystery? Well, I, I wanted to see like what were his motivations, and now we know that like he's still trying to pit them against each other because he's psychotic. But, but in classic M Night Shyamalan patterns, yeah, maybe that there's something that we're not seeing. There's got to be. Oh, I'm sure there is. I'm sure there's a twist to this. I'm very excited about this. What this I love too excellent. is that it looks great. And I'm hoping it's a trilogy. I'm hoping he's, this is Glass, and then the next one will be like, because it was, well, well I guess this is, is a trilogy. This is, a trilogy, this yeah. is the third one, right? Yeah. yeah. But t- Split was the point. second. Split was the second one. Yeah. God damn, you're right. You just didn't know it. M. Night Man, Shyamalan crazy. blows your mind. He crazy. blows your mind. Uh, you chat, let us know what you think. And of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, let us leave a comment. Let me know what your hype level is out of 44. Is it one? Is it two? Is it three? Or is it 44? James McAvoy we'll is eventually huge. eventually do... M. Night Shyamalan in review? I don't think so. The thing is this, like... hold up? I haven't I, rewatched them in a while. Well, Signs. Signs fantastic. was great. But the there's visit, a dark period where excellent. we have to get through the village and... Oh, the village was the not The one sense. where the trees are killing everyone. Mm. The happening. Terrible like movie. The one of the aliens was on TV the other day with um, Joaquin Phoenix and Mel Gibson. We're just both burping on air. Sorry, I'm just I'm burping dying. too. I'm dying right now. <laughs> signs, that was... You said signs, Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Not as bad as I remember it being. Like, I remember liking it and then getting to the end and being like, oh, the the twist wasn't as cool as I wanted to. Because I felt like M. Night Shyamalan has to have the twist in the movie now. And that, for a while, that was, was crippling thing. him a little bit. Yeah. Because he knocked it out of the park so hard with the sixth sense that everyone's like, what's it going to be? And it can't possibly be as cool as that anymore. I never saw the grandparents one. Which that one? That's The Visit. And the that visit. one is, that one you should watch. That's worth watching. Well, the problem is I watched uh, The Village, but someone had spoiled it for me. And I feel like had they not spoiled it, that movie would have been, been really cool. Yeah. Because I'm like, oh, shit. Like, that's that's a great twist. Yeah. It wasn't spoiled for me, and I still didn't like it. You didn't like that much? No. Uh, Signs I did like, though. because I, But I like any movie that has to do with a small town being invaded by something. And the creepy... Uh, he's so good at building that tension oh, yeah. of, like, spookiness. Hey, you know? swing away, Meryl. Swing away, Meryl. That's so cool. It is cool, man. So it's pretty cool. cool. Uh, all right, let's move on. Let's move on and on to the next news story. So, so this whole this whole thing with you and the remote, yeah, it'll be we won't. This isn't a permanent thing. I think Kevin's trying to figure out. Uh, we have a computer that we've been sort of, you know, the computer we've been sort of. Kevin's been working on for a yeah. while. Ideally, I think once we get that situated, he'll be able to play. The, the issue is we can still play trailers here, but they get a little framey. Yeah, they'll hitch a they little sure bit. Sure do. Yeah, and um, I don't like to watch the trailer before the show. I like to see it. 
I like the people out there to see my genuine reaction to it. Because mm -hmm. I'm not a fake ass motherfucker like yeah. all those other YouTube reactors. Yeah, definitely. We're like, whoa, hype, boo. Yeah. I'm like, you fucking skadooches. They're all fake, dude. They're all so fucking. Bunch all those kids reacts over on the fucking Bunch fine fakers, bros. Dude. They're all doing cocaine in the background, fucking blowing lines. Yeah. They're like, what do I gotta react? What do I gotta react yeah. to these days? What do I gotta react to these days? What Co do you want me to react to? Scooby Doo? I got this. I'll fucking nail this Scooby Doo thing. <laughs> oh my god, Scooby Doo! How old are these kids? 12, 13. Whoa, but Hollywood starts them young, man. It's crazy. That's the problem. Accusations. <laughs> that Hollywood lifestyle <laughs> yeah. starts them young. Sure. Cougar, can I get the sky cam real quick? Does this look like a tech deck? This reminds you of having a tech deck. Remember tech decks, Cole? What's a tech deck? Oh, Those were the legit. You don't remember you're little doing mini skateboards? TV, little mini though. skateboards. Oh, I Andy. see. No, it's not a tech deck, huh? Andy. First off, you're just destroying the TV. Oh, sorry. Second off, it's clearly a phaser. Phaser's on stun. Oh, what do you? What do we do? <laughs> What's? <laughs> Hold on, we want cable. That was fine. No, no okay, just hit the we're just gonna home get back. We're gonna get back. We're gonna hit back. Source. Oh, source. Captain. Far left. Uh, down. We are now attempting to get the Set TV up TV. Back? That one. There we go. 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 All right, Andy, you know what? PC, this, right? This is not Never a toy. Mind. Okay, you can't play with this anymore, okay? Okay. It's just I wanted to do some kick flips and stuff. When no, we would, I understand. You can do that when, later. When we would do the uh, the toss test back in the day, or they turned into tax. It was a, a Texas assessment of knowledge and skills. Uh, tax test, T-A-K-S. Uh, that was like the, the year-end test that we would do. But when you would finish the test... No, this is... I'm taping, I'm testing my abilities with my hands. This is just like normal <laughs> academic mm, stuff. What are you talking about? This anyway, is a tech deck. So when we would do that, we'd be in class, and we, when you would finish the test, you'd have to stay in the classroom. Like, you couldn't leave. It was like super high security. If you had to go to the restroom, it was like somebody was always like escorting you to the restroom because they wanted to make sure oh, you were trying yeah, to cheat and shit. Oh, yeah, we had those things every once in a while, yeah. Yeah, see, so why did you make fun of me? <laughs> Because I just didn't understand what you're saying, oh, okay. and I feared it, so I made fun of sure, it. Sure, of course, of course. Uh, so when everybody was done with the test, you confused me. So we would I all just do, we would do tech deck competitions in class, and I would fucking kill them, dude. I would always like 360 pop shove it, uh, board slide. You know what I mean? Right, cool Greg. Cool Greg knows. Yeah. He knows that skate culture. I feel like I everybody you know. always had them on the bus and on planes. Yeah, for sure. That's what I need you to do. Planes. I don't know about that. I wasn't. Coming I need. I need you to apologize to everyone that's watching this show and listening to this for the last 15 seconds. You just wasted their time. That's what I need you to do. <laughs> he's, he's a dick. Wait, are you talking about those stupid like finger skateboards? Yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> How did you not understand that? Because he kept calling them a tech deck. That's, That's what, what they're, they're called. called. Finger skateboards is what we call them in fucking <laughs> Riverside. The when kids would play with them, it would go over and smack their hands because they were stupid. <laughs> like, no. We just go like this. Bad. No, Bad. they were the shit. They were so cool. They were so Bad. cool. And then the, where it got out of hand is when they had the mini BMX bikes. That got a little too much. Oh, I don't remember that. That's oh, crazy. Yeah. That's too much. How about this? Ride a real bike, kids. That's where it all started going wrong. That's where the millennials started taking over. We don't want to ride real skateboards because it might hurt us. We'll do it with our fingers. Oh, finger skateboarding is great. Yeah, but then I would like take the wheels off and be like, oh, let me, let me replace with like blue wheels. Uh, let me put some different colored trucks on there. It was so cool, dude. That Customizing cool. was tight, dude. That does sound cool. It was really tight. Cool, Greg, bring up this next news story. Scarlett Johansson lands $15 million payday for Black Widow movie, uh, bringing her up to uh, pretty much parody with some of her male co-stars that are getting paid too. And to this, I say, scrape that fucking cheddar off. Get you that know what dollar, I mean? dog. Get that dollar, Scar Jo. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Good Can for you her. $15 million. No, I can't. Fifteen million dollars to play. What does fifteen million dollars look like in to, cash? to play a character you've played eighteen times? Like I can't, you nailed it. You don't I even have to prepare imagine, for this shit anymore. I can't imagine a hundred thousand dollars, much less fifteen million. Fifteen mil, you're set. That's what I'm saying. I want one fifteen million dollar payday. Y'all never have to see me again. Jeff Bezos makes thirty three thousand dollars a minute. A I minute. Jeff Bezos. I uh, read a headline today that said Jeff Bezos lost eight billion dollars yesterday. Is the stock market going really badly? And it's just like whatever. They'll get it back. Down, you know? Yeah, yeah. get it back. Do you, think like, he, do you think he can? He probably does care. Bee. Yeah, I know. No, I mean, yeah, it sucks. Like, mm, sure. Look at the small, stock market yesterday. It was tough for everyone. It was a rough time. I had a bad day. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Me either. Yeah. Mm. All my stocks are at a, a retirement. It's all invested. I just don't manage yeah, it. Yeah, but like if you manage it. it's... I pay people to manage it because I'm baller as fuck. That's cool. Kevin, to apologize for the last 15 seconds of stock market talk. 15. Did you the Jeff Bezos thing so interesting? But then you went past that. A conversation no, that'll rock. 15 seconds of stock. 
Mark, get, ah, fuck, it sucks. Stand up. <laughs> hey, were you doing the? Uh, we doing I, was the intro? Make, I was trying to give you a theme song. Uh, no, but what's the name of that show? The Here, I got it. Like? I got it. Wait, can I? Can I do one? Uh, can John I do Rapio. one? Where's John Rapio. Where's the last line? Can That's, I do a stock intro? Okay. Stock me up. You better stock, stock me up and stock me, me up. up. Yeah. Uh, is that good? <laughs> That's pretty I good. I like that. That's pretty good, right? Can we just good. spend the rest of the show workshopping? Here's the here's what I tell you right now, and this is total non sequitur. But I watched that really <laughs> kind of bad uh, documentary about the police on I think it's on Amazon Prime right I now. I think I heard you talk. It's called about Surviving it. the Police. It was written by the guy that did the. Or it was basically made by the, the guitarist that I don't remember because uh, all I know is Stuart Copeland and Sting. <clears throat> yeah. and the other guys don't care about. Um, but there's a shot of Sting. He's performing and. To a giant, like, ample theater of like 50,000 people, and he's wearing a fucking pilot jumpsuit that looks exactly like the one that like Tom Cruise wore in like Top Gun. Oh, that's cool, and it's baller as fuck. And he's just singing there, and it like the shit, like, he's got the sleeves pushed up, so cool. And it's just a jumpsuit. I'm like, you look dope as he's shit. He's a cool guy, dude. He was cool, it looks really cool. Uh, congratulations to ScarJo, uh, you're making those dollars, and like, not that she wasn't before, she was like the highest paid actress in Hollywood like last year, so no surprise here, but good to see that there's some parody happening. Does anybody? Care about a Black Widow movie? No. Okay. But I didn't care about Doctor Strange. I didn't care about Black Panther. I didn't care about. I didn't care about ninety percent of these standalone Marvel movies until they made me care about them. If so. it can just be a, if this movie can be a Mission Impossible movie yeah. set in the Marvel, in the Marvel universe, world, I'm down. Mm. That could be cool. Give me that. And I feel mm-hmm. like that's what they're going to do because at the end of the day, she has no superpowers. So yeah, aside it's going to be a Hurricane Rana. It's going to be a people. fucking. That's the thing about ScarJo. She's the only like. Well, I guess, uh, never mind. Never the big mind. question is, will I'm, they make her have that terrible red, terrible, terrible, <laughs> terrible, <laughs> terrible is the new word for it. Yeah. Terrible hair. I, I The thing with how I feel about uh, Black Widow is, I was just thinking, like, she's one of the only few characters that has not gotten these crazy upgrades. Like, Tony Stark in the nano particle machine, but, or, you know, his fucking... What, what's his suit made out the of? The nanobots now. Yeah, yeah. Like, and then Nanotech. Spider-Man has that new suit, and everybody's like having these cool upgrades. It is, it is weird that Tony Don't wasn't like hair. this. Hey, let's give Scar-Jo. everybody that. Like, hey, uh, Jeremy Rayner, and hey, ScarJo. Uh, being another normal human being like you, who's got trillions of dollars and can just make suits seemingly out of no- they just appear out of nowhere. Why don't I make you some tech so that when the Hulk punches your fucking face, you don't die? Or How about that. Give it to the Hulk. Can you imagine the Hulk, like, forming a giant hammer? Like, you know how Tony Stark was, like, you know, he put his foot down and it, like, became a giant pillar in the ground? Like, all the, the nano machines, mm-hmm. like, fucking... I keep saying nano Well, the problem is, uh, the Hulk was in the last movie, but he was, he was a huge uh, puss in boots. Yeah, he was, yeah. He just couldn't get out of it. Yeah, he's a little baby cry. That's what I'm saying, like, give her some tech. Maybe she'll have some cool tech in this. Maybe a cool suit. Maybe. Maybe. But uh, she'll probably just be in a cool black suit. Man, she looked up in that picture. Cool, right? Bring that back up. It's a cool-ass picture, That's you're right. It's a dope-ass picture. Yeah. They do such a good job, like, having gone through now, gone back through all the old superhero movies and seeing the costumes and how they just didn't get it back then, yeah. they do such a good job. At, look, at even, I didn't even notice her costume in Infinity War because there's so many people in it. But look how dope that is. That's really it's cool. It's cool looking. It looks like tactical gear that someone who is a superhero would wear. What about that? I mean, yeah, I was thinking about the Herrible the wig. It's Herrible. Yeah. That's the scale now. Is it, is it passable or Herrible? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> We're having a great time. We're having a great time. I, I think we're get on my level, out. Andy. Let's split this. You want to split this? No. Everybody, split. if you're listening at home, this is what happened. It sounds like. Oh, it's so loud. I bet. Oh, man, that was a good one. I know. Man. That sounded like popping. You're like fucking, a fucking Coke Foley artist. As, as my friend uh, and my friend and good confidant Macklemore once says, I'm gonna pop some tags. I'm okay. gonna pop some tags. What does that mean? I don't know. Bring this up, cool, Greg. <laughs> pop some tabs. Eh? That's what I meant. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he said tags. Well, he says pop tags. That wasn't three. Oh, tabs. I see. But I was thinking, I was gonna say tabs, but I said tags. That's why it was confusing to you. But my hype level is still coming down off that glass trailer. Still forty four. Cool, I'm, I'm gonna sell it at 30, 43 and a half. Cool right man. Now. Uh, Joe, you threw this on. I did. This is the first poster for the live action Disney Aladdin, and we're gonna react to it right now. It says choose wisely, and then it says May. They've already chosen the month for us, apparently. So we don't have to choose anymore. We don't Thank actually God. have to make any decisions. I have decision paralysis. Other than yeah. whether or not we're going to see it. What's your hype level for Aladdin? Aladdin, my favorite Disney movie. So So are you happier or more cautious that we're I'm going into Aladdin? Definitely on the remake? cautious side. Like, I don't know. I don't want anyone to ruin it. Granted, I'm not a huge fan of the live action remake things that we've been doing with 
all of the Disney movies. Really? Saw, the only one I've kind of liked is Cinderella, and even that one I don't really care Did you about. see The Jungle Book? No. It's actually good. Really? Yeah, it's surprisingly, like John Favreau did it, the team that worked on it. Mm-hmm. I was like, I don't want to watch this stupid movie ever. I don't want, this is me, of course. This is going to come as a shocker to everyone. But I sometimes judge a product before it's even out. I know mm-hmm. it's disappointing, but I am human and I am working on it. But I saw this and I was like, that's dumb. The original Jungle Book, Jungle Book is the fucking goat. It's untouchable. Everyone can suck it. Yeah. You can suck it. I was at my sister-in-law's house. We had nothing better to watch. I was like, throw it on. And it was like a bad rip of it we were watching. So like the colors were all wrong. It was still good. And then mm-hmm. I went back and watched it again on HBO. I was like, this movie's actually really enjoyable and probably a better pound for pound story than, like it's a better way of telling the story than the original Jungle Book. But I, oh. mi- I do miss the music. The music cues in the new one were weird though. Because it wasn't a musical. That's annoying. The music is like the best part about the Jungle Book. Yeah, they kind of kind of shoehorned that in. Where it was like Christopher Walken was like, oh, I want to be like you. It's fine. You know, you're like, Who right. was he? He was uh, the gorilla. Was, mm. Oh, Baloo? No, Baloo the orangutan? Was the he was the orangutan. Oh, King not a, something? King Louie. I can't wait to see this movie and be in the theaters. And uh, I'm going to go, you know, maybe I'm eating popcorn, but I, maybe I want some mini Twix because we forgot them. And then I'll just go, just a little snack, guys. And then you could reply with something. I don't know what the lyrics are. (laughs) Let me ask you this question. What if we did a podcast within a podcast within a podcast called Snack Time? We okay. just talk about our favorite snacks okay. at the movies. Okay. And how many times? It'd, it'd be like two episodes. Andy I just spilled popcorn. popcorn. Here's, how, here's how it's going to go. What time is it? Snack time. What time is it? Snack time. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Snack Time Podcast starring me, can you bring Andy, the, and Joey. Can you bring the poster up one more time, Cole Greg? Let's watch it. Here's what you need to notice. This yeah. is very, very important. Yeah, let's pick this apart. You see, how, it's our a, see how it says May down there? Mm-hmm. That's further. That further solidifies... That America has it right with how they do their fucking dates. Because if if this were a dumb poster, it would just say 14 or some bullshit. Mm-hmm. You know the UK and everywhere they else put puts like, date. let's put the date first, then the month? That makes no sense to me, Nick. I have such a fucking beef with that. 100% sense. This make, We are dumb shits for doing it no, the opposite way. They have, hey, the metric system, yes, they were right about that. Let's change that shit. I'm down to mm-hmm. fucking move on to meters whoa, and all that whoa. bullshit. Well, miles, there, this shit doesn't make sense. But this, the date stuff, I will fight anybody in chat, dude. And you'll probably beat me, but I'm going to put up a fight. Cool, Greg, listen to me here, okay? Nick, are you listening? Yeah, it's 1145. Okay, Go cool, ahead. cool. You're listening. listening. Good, good, good. Um, whenever somebody's, like, when they do the UK dates, it makes no sense to me. Because they're like, eight. And you're like, what does eight even mean? Mm-hmm. What month is that in? Well, no, I mean, you clearly have to have Oh, all... December. Yeah. Okay. See, I don't like that. Because you read from left to right, Nick. Yeah. You know, when you give me the month first, I know, bam, I'm zeroing in on this. Then you give me the date, bam, even more zeroed in. When you give me the number 22, it's like, what, how, See, what your, 12 months is that even in? Here's the thing. Your argument is flawed. Because in that case, if you want to go from big to small, should... you got to go year first. So it should be 2018 then October, then 10. Then that 11. means that we're more right, though, because no, we're on the right path. We're, for whatever dumb fuck reason, we decided to put the day first. No, the month first, then the day, then the year. That doesn't make any sense. That makes no sense. Zero sense. The date first still makes zero sense to when me. When I go to Europe, when I go to European countries and they do it, I just feel like I have been wrong my entire life. Man, you're And a, I'm just right when I go there. You're bitching out on this, I'll tell you that, I thought it, you were going to be with me on this. I'll tell you what, though. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Uh, you guys don't? I don't like this, no. dude. I caught it. Flip flop. You know what? You're right, Andy. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Yeah. Fuck dude, you, you're up. Thank you're wrong. you, dude. Thank you're you, doing man. it wrong. Thanks. Hey, but thanks for watching, guys. I love y'all. I love y'all in chat. All oh, right, yeah. uh, we're going to go into tips in a couple seconds, but before we do that... <laughs> Wait, what did you catch? I did a flip-flop. I don't know. Uh, like, someone threw a flip-flop at me, I was catching it. Who the hell Can we get right? a graphic of, like, my abuelita throwing, or my mom, chancla? like, throwing a chancla, and it's, like, you catching the flip-flop? You know what I mean? Ay, Dios mio. All right, we're going to go into tips, uh, the rest of the tips in a second, so if you guys want to tip us, cue those up. We'll go into that. Remember, fun clips are clips, not full-length movies. Okay? Uh, but before we do that, we're going to take a second, Joe, yeah. and talk to you about our sponsors. The first of which today is Gabby. Gabby is your insurance uh, concierge. We are your online broker who compares all of your insurance options to find you the right policy all in under two minutes. Uh, Gabby Auto checks your options every renewal, renewal time to make sure you are still getting the best deal, even if your circumstances have changed. 
In under two minutes, we do the research, scouring all the available options to make sure you get the best policy for your individual circumstances. You shouldn't have to worry about insurance, and with Gabby, you don't have to. Uh, we don't sell your information like other brokers. We'll never spam you or cold call you. We are so serious about this, we won't even contact you. Again, until 30 days before your renewal, when we do your automatic checkup, to make sure you still have the right policy. Gabby is licensed in uh, all 50 states, uh, and this, to them, is the relation, uh, excuse me, Gabby is in the relationship business. I should just read the thing. I try to just, have fun with it. No, just, just read, read it. The thing. Just read it, dude. That's why we, we think of it like a concierge, someone you know, and who gets to know your needs better and better over time. Gabby combines the best of both worlds, the relationship of a broker and the power of technology. Uh, they use artificial intelligence and data learning. And we, will off, we will be able to further refine and automate this process over time. Their experienced team of founders who are experts in insurance and technology. Uh, let's see. Oh, right now, if you want to test out Gabby, if you're looking for a new insurance, uh, go to Gabby.com slash morning. That's G-A-B-I dot com slash morning. Next up, we got Robinhood. Robinhood is an investing app that lets you buy and sell stocks, ETF, S, options, cryptos, all commission free. And as you know, we've started a new podcast within a podcast called Stock Me Up. Stock me up. Won't you stock me up and never stop. Kevin's gonna stock us up. Market. Is, market. <laughs> stock market. Uh, Robinhood strives to make financial services work for everyone, not just the wealthy. This is a non intimidating way for stock market newcomers to invest for the first time with true confidence. Simple and intuitive, clear design, data present, uh, presented in an easy to digest way, which is great. Uh, Mike Ransky, don't you? Mike Ransky is calling me in the middle of this ad. Doesn't uh, he know? Definitely answer it. Doesn't he know that I'm doing the ad read right now? Do you want me to answer? I'm gonna wait for him to finish the ad. No, I'm going to finish the ad and then we're okay, going to call them yeah. back. Other brokers charge, brokerages, excuse me, charge up to $10 every trade, but for Robinhood doesn't charge, co Robinhood doesn't charge commission fees. Uh, you can trade stocks and keep all of your profits. Uh, the design is very, very cool and easy to use. Uh, it's easy to understand charts and market data. Uh, you can place a trade in just four taps on your smartphone. Uh, the Robinhood web platform also lets you view stock, quote, collections. Uh, like sectors like popular, 100 most uh, popular sectors like entertainment and social media and curated categories like female CEOs and analysts ratings of buy, hold, sell for every stock. Uh, you can learn how to invest as you build your portfolio and discover new stocks and track favorite companies with personalized news feeds. You can customize notifications for price movements so you never miss the right move moment to invest. Here you go right now, they got a great deal. Listen up, listen up. Robinhood is giving listeners a free stock like Apple, Ford, or Sprint to help build your portfolio. Sign up at morningshow.com, dot, excuse me, morningshow.robinhood.com. That's morningshow.robinhood.com. Finally, we've come to Quip. One of the most important things we do for our health every day is brushing our teeth. Yet most of us don't do it properly. Quip is a better electric toothbrush created by dentists and designers. Quip was designed to make brushing your teeth more simple, affordable, and even enjoyable. And I'll tell you something right now. I learned a lot by doing this ad read. They sent us the thing, I tried it out last night. It's fun. It's like a little mini massage for your teeth. And I've never, I've never tried an electric toothbrush before. But I tell you, the design, I like it a lot. It's cool looking, you I know can what? get behind that. You know what, I'm gonna get it right now. Are you gonna get it? You yeah, can, yeah. I mean, you, you can borrow mine if you want, same head. Uh, don't no? clean it. There's no context where that's a good statement. No, definitely not. But I'll tell you this, uh, a couple things that I like about this. One, it's got a little timer on it. So every 30 seconds, it stops for a second and starts back up, and that's how you know to move to a different quadrant of your mouth. And two, you gotta brush for two minutes. Which I always thought I was brushing for two minutes, but I timed it. No. Last night versus this morning. Turns out I've been brushing 40. for approximately 15 seconds. <laughs> I'm just doing, I'm just doing, like, I'm just getting, basically I'm getting the toothbrush near my mouth and then throwing it out the window. Sure. Uh, the design's cool. I like this toothbrush. If you guys are looking for a, a, a decent uh, uh, mechanical toothbrush, here it is right here. And I'll tell you what, what else we got. Oh, here's, here's how you take advantage of this. Quip starts at just $25, and if you go to getquip.com slash KFMS right now, you get your first refill pack for free with a Quip electric toothbrush. Uh, let's see. That's your first refill pack for free at G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash KFMS. What are you looking at? You gonna do it? I'm on Quip's website. You gonna buy that? It app? comes in teal, dude. Get that teal. Though. Or the green. Uh, well, I have so mine in, in gray because I love gray. And they just sent me the gray one, oh, so that's, that's what I do. Sure. What? I want to call him so bad. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, actually, Joe, give away the games right now, and I'll call Mike Ransky back. Awesome. <clears throat> we have two winners today. Oh, that was the end of the ad Multiple yeah. ads. Oh. Okay, Our cool. first winner is Andrew Littell from Kind of Funny Patreon. He won Pixel Ripped 1989 on PSVR. And then 
Matt Just Kidding from Twitch won Battle Roy Battle Right Royale on Steam. I'll be sending those out to you along with the winners from yesterday that I forgot to send out. Congrats for winning the game. I hope that you don't feel lame anymore. Yo. Mike Aransky, uh, what's going on? It's Nick Scarpino and Andy Cortez. You're on the Kind of Funny Morning Show right now. Uh, I got a missed I got a missed call from you, and I said I'm not going to disrespect Mike Aransky by answering this call because his time is too important for that. And then Andy, <laughs> Joey, and Kevin said absolutely call him back. Waste his time. That's the right hey, way to do it. That's the right yeah, way to do it. Well, I, I appreciate the thought. Thanks, guys. You're the best. What's going on? Is there something you want to talk to me privately about that I can now share with 10,000 people? <laughs> probably. Yeah, probably. I'll a little opportunity for the future, but uh, okay. yeah, we, can, we can definitely talk about that later. All right. I'll call you back That's in good. approximately five minutes. Go so to crypt.com yeah. slash KFMS. Lovely. All right. Love you guys. All right. Love All you right. back. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. It's always fun springing that on people, you know? Because you hear them, like, you hear the bubble out. just heighten a little yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, going back to the tips, let's round this out, and then we'll go into sub-only mode. Arvel Crynide says, sorry for infecting Greg with the flu of death, although that was probably a month ago, and viruses <laughs> don't work that way. Anyway, here's a fun <laughs> clip. Uh, cool Greg will bring that up. He is the Great Wall of Cool Greg right now. He'll let you know. Mm -hmm. Actually, we're not even calling him the Great Wall of Cool Greg. That's, that's not cool enough. We're just calling him the Wall. Oh, that's fucking the cool, wall. dude. Pink Floyd's The Wall. Oh, I, I know, but you gotta be quicker on the uptake, Joe. <laughs> Get hey. on your mic if you're gonna talk to us. Uh, Savage Symbio 86 says, is the upcoming Rambo, in the upcoming Rambo, will he be fighting Father Time? No, I think what he'll be fighting is uh, long-term steroid abuse. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the hitch. Oh no, Andy, I already said that one. Uh, Kessel Winks said, having a shitty week, but this fun clip has been, allegedly steroid use, I don't know if he does it or not. No. Having a shitty week, but this fun clip has been keeping my spirits up, especially but when it I seems picture, like it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Kind of, He's like 87 years old still, so yeah. especially when I picture that it's uh, it's Kev fixing setup issues. Special appearances by KF uh, Chicken towards the end of the clip. Got cool, Greg. One. Did you did you watch this clip, Cool Greg? I'm not there yet. Yeah, okay, don't He's worry. About it. It's He's all good. There. It's all good. Uh, Dan Bird gave us our final tip right now. It says, "Hey guys, not familiar with all uh, Shyamalan films, but am with uh, did multiple person personality disorder." Okay, my girlfriend of seven years had DID and split was devastating. Slash harmful. McAvoy is a villain beast based on having DID. Uh, what is DID? Someone, someone Google that. Dissociative Identity Disorder. Thank you. Uh, M. Night demonizes mental illness for dollars. Uh, didresearch.org. He says did-research.org for info. Okay. Yeah, I saw people having that that point of view. And I, I totally, I can see that. I, I don't think that's a an invalid uh, you know, point of view or whatever. But yeah. I don't think that was his intention. Yeah. So I give him the benefit and the doubt on that one, where I, I appreciate that you might see that from that, but I don't think he's going out there and purposely like making fun of it or trying to demonize it. I think that was just his character in this. But good, good info. Good on you. Good on you. All right, uh, cool, Greg. Yeah. How are we on those clips? Good, bad, and different? I think this one shows the past. The other one confused me. All right, the other one confused cool, Greg, and if you confuse cool, Greg, you might as well go fuck yourself. Yeah. So let's watch this. That what was harsh. This? That was harsh. Cut it off. Cut it off. What, what's, what's this from? I'm confused. I don't understand. It, it looks like, it, are they Left for Dead characters? What's this from? I don't, I don't know. I'm not feeling it. Not I feeling don't it. know. I would also like to apologize for telling people to fuck off earlier today. Yeah. That seemed... <laughs> earlier today? <laughs> <laughs> About five seconds ago. Yeah. That seemed harsh, and it was. <laughs> and you know what? I'm a man of, I'm a man. And I'm, I'm, I'll, I'm man enough to admit when I'm wrong. And don't fuck off a lot. Just a, like... Yeah, fuck Just off try too harder, harder, maybe. Yeah. Because Cool Greg, you confuse Cool Greg. Piss off? Is that a little bit? Piss off's fine. That's British. Okay. Isn't it? Let's go into sub only mode, Joe. I'll put us there. And let's talk to the chat. And then. Yeah, it is Left for Dead. Yeah, that's what I thought. Then I'm going to tell you something right now. A fan out there, a truly glorious fan, and I forget the person's name right now, gave us a, coup a coupon for four at Chipotle. And I would like to treat you and Joey and myself and Cool Greg at Chipotle today via that fan. How's that sound for you? That sounds good to me. That sounds pretty great. All right. Um, good I have a breaking comment from the chat coming from Kind of Funny Games. I am the knight. I am the writer of walls. I will never be the wall. That's some deep shit. Well, that was some deep shit. Cool, Greg wrote uh, that. I am there. Lizard King. I can do anything. Uh, Ant-Man 0208 says, Nick, did you see Khabib is threatening to quit the UFC? Yeah, no shit. They're not paying him his money, and he's, yeah. 
We'll see. Do you I think they'll let him? No way. He's too I mean, much marketing. He, they can't let him. He can quit if he wants to quit. Too much marketing. But I'm sure he's under contract, and it's a big pain in the ass. Yeah. Khabib just is a very serious human being, and I just don't think he can deal with the amount of horrible oh, shit memes. that <laughs> is coming his way right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I don't think he has He still the doesn't see what he did was wrong. No. He still, like, is saying, he like, feels like, yeah, but he made wrong. fun of my family. Yeah, <laughs> like, but you committed assault. Yeah. And in this country, we have rules where you're not yeah. allowed to do that. Sadly, I know, because I would like to be out in the streets just fighting motherfuckers left and right. Oh, my I God. I saw the parking patrol out there. I'd love to just just fucking take poosh. one of those Watch him just, just fly into the fucking air, dude. Uh, just, you gave me a ticket. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I'm not going to throw the punch, though, because his shoulder's old and really in pain. Creaky. This is why I don't get in fights, because I hurt myself. I saw three <laughs> of those little cards, those little parking ticket yeah. cars driving around, and I swear to Christ, I, I felt like I was living in Blade Runner, where like uh, like it, they looked like automated vehicles oh, yeah. that are coming to like arrest people and stuff, like as if there was nobody in there because they're little tiny little uh, one person vehicles. They're very very weird. Looking. I uh, I walked by two of them today because it's street sweeping out there, and I just said hi morning, and the one they were they were there were two women, and one of them looked back at me and said morning, and then as I walked away, she's like that motherfucker's full of shit, and I was like oh my god, like what did I say to them? make them think that I was being insincere. Like, do they know how much I hate parking people? And I turned around to apologize, and they were watching a clip of, like, Donald Trump. Uh, and I was like, oh, okay, you're not talking about me. You're talking about that. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, that, that other, other fucking, fucking crazy loser. white guy. Um, uh, I, uh, I, I told you the other day, this was last week, I believe, how I witnessed such environmental storytelling when I was pulling into park, and we it was on one of the days where street sweeping happens. And I drive, and I'm driving down the street, and I see two of the vehicles there with two women talking, and they're doing the little fucking paper thing. And so I, I'm looking, I'm like, all right, there's, there, somebody's getting fucked right there, right? Like somebody's vehicle is about to get ticketed. And I drive down, like I don't know, maybe you know, 50 yards, and there's a just, there's an old man just looking so sad, standing next to his car, with a ticket in his hand, and he's just like. And he looks so sad, and it like broke he my heart, dude. Have like money he, for that he just got ticket. fucked right yeah, there. I felt sucks. so bad, dude. I hate it. I've, I've gotten, I've gotten de- uh, dinged on one of those. I think it was like eighty bucks. Oh, when I was when I first started parking in the city, I was just like, I just have to do it because you sometimes you'd find spots, and you're like, this is the only spot I can find like a five mile. It's radius. worth eighty bucks. <laughs> and I just gotta just I gotta thread yeah. the needle and see what happens. Mm-hmm. Uh, G dot K dot says his it, Khabib's issue is that the UFC are being harsher on him than uh, when Connor smashed up the bus. Um... I can see that. Yeah. I honestly can see that because Connor didn't really get any serious ramifications from the bus smash. Uh, and he actually did hurt people. But at the same time, Khabib, you have to understand, Khabib is a killer. Like, if he wants to come beat your ass, you cannot do anything. And the fact that he decided to start assaulting people is just that you can't have that. That's a huge liability. Similar to Connor's bus smash, too. I, again, I think that. I think they're being harsh on Khabib. They should have been harsher on Connor. I don't think that it's, hey, you should lighten up on Khabib because you lighten up on Connor. I think that's the wrong way to think about it. I think you got to put the hammer, if Dana White needs to put the hammer down on Khabib and should have smacked Connor around a little bit too, metaphorically speaking, because Connor would beat the fuck out of Dana White physically. Maybe not though. Dana White's a pretty big guy. He, he seems. And he's a boxer. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, he'd get his ass whooped, I think. He's a big dude. Mm. I don't know. Craig Miller? Hey. Time to wrap it up? No, no, no. Oh, what's up? I was coming, hey, do you want to come on, like, Gamescast today and talk about, like, Assassin's Creed? Well, he's sick. You, you, he's sick. you weren't really feeling it. Are you going home after this? No. Okay. Uh, what time? Yeah, sure. Okay. Are you yeah. playing anything else? No. Um, no. What are you guys doing here? Uh, we were going to do a hanging show, out. but I think we're probably going to wrap it up because one of us has to pee pee and the other one got sick because his coworker. But we're doing a show right now? It is not in. me. Look, at, he's, what, what are your symptoms? I'm feeling peaked right now, too. What are your symptoms? Just okay. just all of it, dude. Ah, oh, you're all such fucking Wait, where are you? I can't even see. He's blind, Greg. He's gone blind. That wasn't one of my symptoms, so clearly he got it from licking toads. Oh, don't lick toads, ladies and gentlemen. On that wonderful note, we appreciate you so much being here with us, watching this show live. Uh, we'll be back to round out the week tomorrow, 11 a.m. Friday. Twitch.tv slash games. if you're watching this on YouTube or... No, you know, if you're watching this on YouTube, let us know what you thought about that glass trailer. Uh, let us know if you think Greg got Andy sick. Uh, spoilers, the answer is yes. And he probably got Joey sick as well. And once Joey's sick, you know I'm the last one to go. Because I have the immune system of a champ, but a champ can only like, fight off so many people. Like, hey, uh, do you want to come in and uh, be a Gabe's cast today? Hey, guys, I'm, uh, I'm okay, I think. <laughs> Jesus, dude. I love you all. Cool, Greg. Please cut the feed.